published, 1345 EDT, the 9th of April 2018, updated, 820 EDT, the 10th of April 2018 an infuriated vigilante has filmed himself tearing down the shrine erected in memory of a burglar killed by a homeowner he was trying to rob calling their flowers, cards and balloons trash apostrophe dot more than 100 bouquets were tied to a fence near 78 year old Richard Osborne Brooks's house to remember Henry Vincent, a career criminal stabbed to death in a botched burglar at the pensioner's property last week. His alleged accomplice Billy Jeeves, 28, is on the run having dumped their car close to the Traveller estate the friends come from near Orpington, Kent. Outraged neighbours have blasted police for allowing 37-year-old Vincent's family and friends to construct the memorial. As officers said they were powerless to intervene. Cards left by his parents and girlfriend say he had a heart of gold and was too good to walk the earth. But late last night the vigilante drove to the green, southeast London, before tearing down flowers and dumping the bunches in his boot. He said, When I heard that the family of Henry Vincent, the burglar that got stabbed to death by his intended victim, had placed flowers on the road where he died, I was extremely furious. It infuriated me, so I just drove to South London, to the area to see it myself decided to remove the trash though. He added, donated the flowers to local graveyard and posted a photograph of the bouquets next to gravestones. A vigilante drove to the green, southeast London, before tearing down flowers and dumping the bunches in his boot calling them trash, pictured left to right, the man has donated the flowers to local graveyard and posted a photograph of the bouquets next to gravestones. A shrine erected in memory of a burglar killed by the homeowner he was trying to rob was torn down by furious locals overnight flowers and cards left for the burglar have been ripped from fences and lampposts overnight Mr. Osborne Brooks, pictured left, was arrested on suspicion of Henry Vincent's, right, murder after he stabbed him with the screwdriver he used to break into his house. The pensioner was later released without charge but is still being kept under police guard over safety concerns outraged neighbors blasted police for allowing 37-year-old Vincent's family and friends to construct the memorial and took the law into their own hands nearly two dozen bunches of flowers, pictured, were attached to a fence just 20 yards away from the 78-year-old's home in Hither, Green, South London, left yesterday, but these have now been ripped down today. Right, one man has claimed to be responsible for tearing down the tributes late last night and some of the bouquets appear to have been taken away completely photographs taken by Mail Online today show flowers, balloons and cards left for Vincent torn down and strewn across the pavement. Many of the bouquets have disappeared altogether. Billy Jeeves, 28, is on the run following a botch trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday neighbours have said they are terrified that Vincent's supporters may return to cause trouble. One said, there is the fear they might come back and cause a rumpus. They made it a bit of a shrine and they will return to the shrine. I would not come out if they came back. Resident Teresa Webb, 43, said she was relieved their large floral tributes had been cut down. She said, it is not the place. It was stapled onto the fences of other neighbors who care for Richard. It is not nice, no one is in mourning for them here. We are a close-knit community. The fact they put them there is inappropriate. There was 101 bouquets down there. Others living near Richard Osborne Brooks had branded the memorial to career criminal Henry Vincent disgraceful, a taunt and an insult. Nearly two dozen bunches of flowers were attached to a fence just 20 yards away from the 78-year-old's home in Hither Green, South London. One resident said of the mourners, they have taken over the road, but he can't move back. It doesn't seem fair. Police officers in the area had said they had no powers to remove the tributes. NHS worker Kaylee Taylor, 23, said, that is a really disgraceful display. They should not have this outside the house. Another resident, who asked not to be named, said, That shouldn't be there. It's out of order. The shrine in South Park Crescent also included balloons and cards that read, You will be missed and I love you, including one beginning to my daddy. 
mourners at the scene yesterday refused to speak about their tributes and stayed to reflect for around half an hour. As flowers, balloons and cards were torn down overnight it also emerged, police launch manhunt for alleged accomplice Billy Jeeves, who appears to have dumped and set a light getaway car after burglary last Wednesday. Relatives of Henry Vincent are said to be seeking revenge after Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, killed one of their own. Mr. Osborne Brooks has been taken into custody for his own protection and may never be able to return to his home, which has now been boarded up. Police under fire for allowing Vincent's family to build shrine to career criminal who died in botched burglary. A traveler who knew Vincent for years warned that the dead man's relatives and friends were out for blood. He said, they won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge. They'll go armed with whatever they've got, guns, knives, anything that they can lay their hands on. There is nothing that they won't do to get their own back on this pensioner. Police at the scene yesterday said they were unable to remove the tribute, telling Mail Online, they are going to stay I'm afraid, it's just one of those things. But nearby residents were furious after it emerged Mr. Osborne Brooks' disabled wife Maureen is finding it very tough despite the police investigation being dropped. Several women had yesterday erected the shrine to Henry Vincent on a wooden fence opposite the house where he was stabbed. Tributes that last night were ripped down neighbors of Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, in Hither Green, South London, pictured, branded the memorial to career crook Henry Vincent disgraceful before it was ripped down overnight one card left for Vincent appears to have been written by his daughter saying strangers can say what they like but she was proud of him Vincent's father has also left a card at the scene and said he was too good to walk this earth the shrine in South Park Crescent Mourners pictured placing tributes there yesterday, also included balloons and cards that read you will be missed and I love you Mr. Osborne Brooks was arrested on suspicion of Vincent's murder after he stabbed him during an altercation inside his home. The pensioner was later released without charge, but is still being kept under police guard over safety concerns. His wife, who suffers with arthritis, is believed to be taking her husband's ordeal badly adding to neighbors' fury over the burglar's shrine. At the weekend a few cards and flowers were left by the entrance into South Park Crescent from Further Green Road, but that has now grown and includes balloons with daddy emblazoned on them, colorful ribbons and teddy bears. Yesterday afternoon three young women were seen festooning the wooden fence opposite Mr. Osborne Brooks's home with bouquets of flowers, balloons and cards. Outraged local Kaylee Taylor, 26 fumed, it's so insensitive, so disgusting it's make my blood boil. To me that is nothing but an insult. It's a taunt aimed at provoking Mr. Osborne Brooks and the people who live on this street who support him. I think this is a sick demonstration of how proud they are of what their relative did. If those flowers and tributes were on my fence, I'd have ripped them down straight away. I can't believe the police watched someone put them up and did nothing. Those bear gloves could have broken into any of our homes that night so they'll get absolutely no sympathy from us. B. Anka Ivanko said the flowers were attached to her fence during the afternoon while she was asleep. She said, I had no idea they were there, I don't know what we're going to do whether to let the tributes stay up. I live here with my husband and family so we'll have a meeting last night to discuss what to do. I saw the few cards and flowers left by the turning into the road and that I thought that was okay but not anything more than that. This is too much. Some of the messages left at the shrine include, R.I.P. Henry Boy. One in a million, a golden boy. Another from his father reads, you was too good to walk this earth. I knew, sick. You believed in God, I've got your Bibles to prove it. It's countdown, I'll be with you soon. One of his children, meanwhile, wrote, Strangers can say what they like about you, they don't know who you was, so I don't care. I knew you and I love you more than anything in the world. I will never be ashamed to call you my daddy, and you was the best one I could ask for. A note left by another of his daughters addressed to my daddy of a king said, Sorry, Dad, I wasn't with you to help you and tell you everything was going to be all right. You must have been frightened by yourself. I'll stand up for you, Dad.
I won't let you down cause I know you wouldn't let me down. His girlfriend Marilyn said, My boyfriend I want it so much more for you, I will keep my promises to you. A double-edged sword. I will never regret being a positive in your life. It is so sad that it came to this. You can shine now. I know how you really felt. I will always be your best friend. A family friend said, You didn't deserve this my child, only God can judge. Henry will have the best bed in heaven. Addressing the Vincent family, the friend adds, Stay strong and hold your heads high, be proud. But mother of one tsunami Otty, 32, was stunned to come home to find the balloons and floral tributes, she told Mail Online. I thought it was for somebody's birthday not for a burglar who died after breaking into someone's house. The Christian side of me thinks that somebody, a human being, has lost their life and it's sad for the family. But the other side of me thinks that it's in bad taste to leave all this outside Mr. Osborne Brooks's home. They should have laid the tributes wherever the burglar lived and not here. He wasn't an angel, I think it's insensitive. Vincent's partner Marilyn has also left a card and called for the anger to disappear all around another message to Vincent, pictured, loved him so much and that they thought the world of him Alexandra Neformata, 26, added, I think the flowers, balloons and cards look nice and when I saw them earlier they cheered me up about what happened last week. But that man was not deserving of such a tribute. I've seen on TV his family say how he was a decent and loving man. If that's the case then what was he doing breaking into a house in the middle of the night? One resident who did not want to be named said, that should not be there, it is someone's fence. It's all a bit over the top. It's out of order. The man should not have burgled the property in the first place. Another long term resident said, They have taken over the road with this, but he can't move back? Doesn't seem fair. Mourners at the scene, pictured, refused to speak about their tributes and stayed to reflect for around half an hour. A woman is pictured bringing flowers to the makeshift shrine to Vincent opposite Mr. Osborne Brooks's home. Teresa Webb, 43, a consultant nutritional therapist who lives on the road said the community are mourning the loss of a life but their first thoughts are with Richard and his wife. She said, it's a great shame Richard and his wife might never move back to the area again. Our first thoughts are with Richard and his wife and to make sure they are being cared for and looked after. An Osborne Brooks's family friend said the couple knows that their ordeal is far from over. Apostrophe. Richard is handling the situation as well as can be expected but he's understandably very concerned, the friend said. Women are pictured placing tributes to Henry Vincent near Richard Osborne Brooks's home. He and Maureen feel they cannot return home and that's very alarming for people their age. They don't know if they will ever see their home again as the police are taking the threats against them very seriously. That's why there has been a load of security cameras fixed to their property and the police are keeping watch. The friend added, It is very tough on Maureen. She is doing okay but she has real difficulty walking due to problems with arthritis. On that night, Richard worried that she was trapped in bed. He would do anything to protect her. This is the last thing they need at their age. Vincent, 37, died in hospital after he was stabbed in the struggle with Mr. Osborne Brooks. The pensioner had found two men in his terraced house in the early hours of last Wednesday, while one went upstairs to search for valuables, Vincent, who was armed with a screwdriver forced Mr. Osborne Brooks into the kitchen. A struggle broke out between the two in which Vincent was stabbed in the upper body. He and his accomplice fled the house but Vincent collapsed in nearby further Green Road. They won't rest till they get revenge, Traveller makes chilling warning to hero pensioner as dead burglar's fugitive accomplice is identified and a shrine to fallen criminal grows at OAP's home a traveller friend of a bear gla stabbed to death by his victim has warned his friends and family won't rest until they get revenge apostrophe. The man, who once beat career criminal Henry Vincent, 37, in a bare knuckle fight, told Mail Online his relatives are seeking revenge after Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, killed one of their own. The chilling warning came as a shrine was built in memory of Vincent opposite the pensioner's home in Hither Green, South London, which has sparked fury among residents.
Meanwhile a family friend said that Mr. Osborne Brooks is handling the situation well but his disabled wife Maureen is finding it very tough as they remain under police guard today. Meanwhile officers also released a picture of Vincent's alleged accomplice Billy Jeeves, 28, who has been missing for five days, while a van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed on Saturday night. Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, left, fears never being able to return home in case of a revenge attack after he killed intruder Henry Vincent, 37, when he broke into his home while his wife is struggling to cope one card left for Vincent appears to have been written by his daughter saying strangers can say what they like but she was proud of him a woman is pictured bringing flowers to the makeshift shrine to Vincent opposite Mr. Osborne Brooks's home the house remains under police guard but family friends told Mail Online Mr. Osborne Brooks and his wife Maureen are worried they won't be safe their traveler who knew Vincent told Mail Online. I know that Henry Vincent would have killed the pensioner first if he could have got away with it, but they will act like he's the victim in all of this. This poor man and his wife won't be safe going back into their own home. Anything could happen. The dead burglar was a known cocaine user and heavy drinker. The traveler, who did not want to be named, added, the married father said, There is nothing that they won't do to get their own back on this pensioner for taking Henry from them even though he broke into the pensioner's house armed with a screwdriver. They won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge against anyone who takes a cherished loved one. And when I say revenge, I mean they'll go armed with whatever they've got, guns, knives, anything that they can lay their hands on. He described what happened when he faced Vincent face to face in a bare knuckle bout a number of years ago. I was in a car park with my cousins in St. Mary's Cray one day and Henry said something offensive. I said, Who do you think you're talking to? He said, Do you want to do something about it? The next thing we had our shirts off and we were fighting with bare knuckles. I beat him within about 10 to 15 minutes. He was all mouth and no trousers. But we just shook hands afterwards and that was the end of it. Vincent, he added, had always preferred a life of crime to finding legitimate work. Henry would refuse to train and to get qualifications so they could do a proper job, he said. All he wanted to do was to stitch people up all the time, the more vulnerable the better, and to get whatever he could out of them before moving on to his next victim. First picture of dead burglar's accomplice, 28 who is still on the run five days after pensioner break-in, as police release image of burnt-out van used to flee the scene Billy Jeeves, 28, is on the run following a botched trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday police have released the first image of a suspected accomplice who is still on the run five days after a pensioner stabbed a burglar to death in his home. Billy Jeeves, 28, is a wanted man following a botch trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday. The pensioner, 78, was hailed a hero after he protected his home and wife from career criminal Henry Vincent, 37. But police are wanting to question Jeeves, who has links to Orpington and Swanley in Kent, and Cambridge, as they believe he may have been an accomplice to the burglary. A van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed near Hockingdon Lane in Orpington, Kent, on Saturday night. Since the incident, Mr. Osborne Brooks and his wife Maureen have not returned to their £500,000 home out of fear for their lives. A traveller who knew Vincent, and once beat him in a bare knuckle boxing bout, told Mail Online that the dead man's family and friends won't rest until they get their revenge for the killing of one of their own. Apostrophe. The chilling warning came as a shrine was built in memory of Vincent outside the pensioner's home. A van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed on Saturday night, near Hockingdon Lane in Orpington, Kent during the botch trade in South Park Crescent, Hither Green the accomplice dragged a fatally wounded Vincent toward a van before leaving him for dead. According to a witness Jeeves and Vincent were sought by police over a distraction burglary in Farningham, Kent, in November 2017. The victim, a 70-year-old man, said he had his jewelry stolen when he let a woman, who claimed to have been attacked, into his home.
A white van appeared outside the home and when it honked, the woman left. Video footage, obtained exclusively by Mail Online, is being examined by detectives who are hunting the second burglar, believed to be Jeeves, who fled in a white van after failing to resuscitate Mr. Vincent. Police remove belongings of hero pensioner and his disabled wife as bags of clothes. A hair dryer and tin of roses are taken from home they can't return to amid fears of reprisal attack bags of clothes, books and other items belonging to the hero pensioner who killed a burglar were today removed from his home. Two plainclothes police officers were seen loading some of Richard Osborne Brooks's possessions into a Ford Transit van parked outside his home in Hither Green, southeast London. They were seen taking away three bags filled with clothes, books, a hair dryer, phone charger and a tin of chocolates. The 78-year-old and his disabled wife are still staying at an unknown location under police guard. Police have warned of possible reprisals after Mr. Osborne Brooks stabbed intruder Henry Vincent, 37, to death after he broke into his home last week. Two plainclothes police officers were seen loading some of Richard Osborne Brooks's possessions into a Ford Transit van parked outside his home in Hither Green, southeast London. They were seen taking away three bags filled with clothes, books, a hair dryer, phone charger and a tin of chocolates in Hither Green. The pensioner was arrested on suspicion of murder but later freed without charge after a widespread campaign for his release. But friends of the career criminal, who broke into the pensioner's home with an accomplice, believed to be Billy Jeeves, 28, have warned he is still in danger. A traveller friend who knew Vincent told Mail Online, I know that Henry Vincent would have killed the pensioner first if he could have got away with it, but they will act like he's the victim in all of this. This poor man and his wife won't be safe going back into their own home. Anything could happen. They won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge against anyone who takes a cherished loved one. The men were seen taking items away as the 78-year-old and his disabled wife remain at an unknown location under police guard officers packed three bags full of clothes and books into a Ford Transit van parked outside.